Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's a little chilly today. It's supposed to get up to almost 60 later, but right now it's 37. So I think I'll, I think I'll mess with this inside. Outside. So I decided I really don't like walking. So I'm not a big fan of walking, but I always enjoyed riding a bike. But my knees aren't what they used to be, and I've always had you know I've had trouble with my knees in my life anyway. And I thought, well, as expensive as bikes are, you know, I'm spend four, five, six hundred bucks on a bike. How much do electric bikes cost? Well, they can easily be upwards of, you know. $1,800, $2,000, a little bit more research, and I found this Chinese bike called from this company called Hay Bike, and uh, let me give it a try, it was like 846 bucks, like 846 bucks, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it's a good investment. Had pretty good reviews. There were a couple of negatives about the batteries not lasting. Batteries are a couple hundred bucks a piece. So if we got some pedals in this box. <coughs> Seat stem maybe. Set of tools and a book. Bushing, rubber bushing, more seat stuff, and the charger. I was I was literally just about to purchase a mountain bike. And then it occurred to me, I was like, you can't ride that type of bike anymore with your back. You're going to mess yourself up. You need to uh, you need to have a more upright type of bike. So, then I started researching granny style bikes, you know. And uh, it looks... Looks like this was going to be a pretty good option for granny bikes. They had white and black. I chose white. I don't know why. I liked both. You know what? I should stop. I'm, yeah, every time I see somebody making a fucking YouTube video. They're trying to one hand this shit. I'm like, you fucking morons. You're about to ruin your brand new product just because you haven't invested in a tripod or you won't come up with some setup to just hold your shit. And I'm literally about to do the same thing. Just chopping away at scissors with scissors at my whole operation here. Dull scissors that don't even work for that matter. Okay, got a seat. Yay for that. Yep. What we got here? Fender. Plastic. Don't get me wrong, I'm, in no, I'm under no delusion that this is going to be some masterpiece. Be much better off with these. Um, but yeah, I'm going to spend 
four to six hundred dollars on a bike and everywhere I live is hills so I literally would have been barely even able to enjoy it so it occurred to me to start looking for electric bikes I started pricing them, I realized as well, let's wait till I'm not going to spend $2,000 on a freaking electric bike that I may or may not even use. But after reviewing this one, $846 did not seem like too big of a sacrifice. If it's halfway decent, I can always sell it. And I'm just attempting to keep it, keep the box intact in case for some reason something's messed up and I've got to send some stuff back. Looks like it's packaged pretty good. She definitely ain't terribly light. I apologize for the work setting I have here. My half done kitchen, my half undone kitchen. These are available on Amazon. I never, I was a little drunk when I bought this. <laughs> and it didn't actually occur to me to look on Amazon. So I just ordered it from like the Hay Bike USA website or whatever. And then the next day, I started second guessing like, I'm like wait a minute dude. Seriously, you spent 900 bucks, approximately. God damn it! How the fuck did that happen? Well, don't do what I just did. I'm not even sure how that happened. I guess my fork's in the front turned. Oh, pull your kickstand down, down first, boys. That'd be a good idea. Unless you want to be a big dumb idiot like your Uncle Sean. Welds look somewhat decent. I don't think I realized I had a little headlamp. Take out the fender, remove the nuts, washer, bolt washers and bolt at top and bottom of the front fork. I see two nuts, I mean two bolts and two washers, I see no nuts. <coughs> this is one too. Longer one. Definitely a longer one. Okay, the video they have online definitely differs in the process. Yeah, the video is showing an assembly process. It's not viable for this one because uh, everything's a little bit different. Not even the book. They haven't out. They haven't updated the. Uh, they haven't updated the book material either because there are no bolts. It's just the, the, the metal is threaded.
Man. Don't fall, bike. So the skinny end of the springs go in and then the metal spacer goes on the same side as the brake on the left and then uh, just tighten everything up. Oh, you know what? That's probably why they said to, to put the fender on first because they changed the design. change the design but we don't make it work I'm just gonna squeeze it through there Got a set of keys to take your battery out and presumably turn it on. Seat should be fairly self-explanatory. So you can keep track of all the parts. For safety reason, all bolts must be checked before every ride. Okay, I really need these to come up. Okay, they just have a bad video up. For the hay bike so when she puts on the gooseneck it's facing backwards so that's why i went to put it on get to the end of the video and she's got it facing forwards <laughs> so i guess she just put it on wrong so yeah this is way better it makes way more sense i think i need to move my handlebars slightly to the right and i still don't have a clue no i don't think i tightened my gooseneck Don't know what this is for. Oh, probably right there. But that's what it's for. It's exactly what it's for. Except there ain't no way it's gonna stay there. <laughs> I can't imagine that's gonna stay there long. A little rubber. How you doing? Definitely want the shocks open. I still cannot figure out how to turn it on. It wasn't even in the video. Apparently you just turn it to on. And then you're on. And then you have power. Okay, so that's what it is. And the key does apparently have to stay in the bike when you're riding it. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, this rail on the back, that metal rail right here has to uh, has to line up, push the key in, and then see, it rides in that track. So I didn't have it in the track the first time, which is why the battery wouldn't go in. And uh, looks like you hold hold this middle button for power on. It shows your battery life, how fast you're going, presumably, how far you've driven. I guess I've driven half a mile. I'm not sure where that came from. Got your light. Got your horn. 
Not sure what this is. Don't know what that is. Never seen a gear shift like this. Yeah, I truly don't know what this is at all. Um, I don't know. Put my clogs on and go for a ride. Yeah, I've definitely got to adjust my handlebars a little bit. Not quite right. Got them coming out a little bit too much on that side, if you can even tell. Don't know if you can, don't know if you can see. So the thing on the right, apparently it's got a pure electric mode. Apparently when it's in zero, it's in pure electric mode. So I'm assuming this is gonna make that go. Kind of loud. This isn't doing anything. So if it's supposed to be hooked up for electric only on the zero, it's doing nothing. Um, battery's already down to half. Probably wasn't really fully charged. Um, but man, when you put it in one, you definitely feel that. I can barely come up the hill. It doesn't ride as easy as a normal bike when it's not power assisted. Um, Take it on the road a minute and see what happens. Battery's about down on the bike. Hopefully it's just because it wasn't fully charged. Shimano gear selector, which I guess is halfway decent. Uh, and, you know, same down here, right? Gearbox or whatever, same, I guess. Uh, she rides all right. I mean, not the most comfortable bike I've ever been on. Certainly not the best. But it'll do. Put her on charge and I'll start my start my start riding the bike a few times a week seeing if i can't get my exercise up a little bit